بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I'm Miss Tanya Today إن شاء الله we will have a new lesson on Mega Goal 1 under model or unit 5 let's we begin our lesson today before I begin a new lesson I want to make a quick revision about the previous grammar which we taken before show agreement with the following statement if you remember that we using before so and because if we have a uh, result and sequence we we use so and because we have a question here at on page i think 58 or 59 i always wear so show agreement with the following statement i always wear a seat belt in the car so i do if you uh, if you notice the answer here I have never had an accident never neither have I do I need a new pair of sneakers so I do I spend the evening watching TV so I di did I I didn't know that Ibrahim was the in the hospital neither did I I don't want to eat a lot of sugar neither do I I'm sorry to hear that Ali is moving, so am I. I want to spend my vacation at the beach, so uh, do I. I once broke my arm, so did I. I'm not tried, even though it's midnight, neither am I. The conclusion from that, if your statement's negative, we're using neither, and if it is agreement, uh, affirmative, we're using so. Okay, let's we go to the other lesson. The new lesson for today is language in context. Look at that page. Okay. We have six pictures here. All of them is talking about heart. We have two girls and four boys. And we have six sentences. We should match the statements or the sentence with the picture down. Match the words with the pictures, then make sentence to describe the pictures. Okay. Uh, sprain ankle, ankle, fracture arm, cut finger, book eye, burn hand, and brick nose. What do you think the suitable answer for ever, every picture? Okay, look at the answers here. So sprain ankle, it comes with the boy on B, one with B. So one with B, because ankle, it means that a place on your body. Number two, fracture arm. So three, it comes with F. She is hurt her arm. Number three, uh, sorry. Uh, and the third one is five comes with a cut finger cut finger that one is finger and she cut her finger and after that we have poke eye poke eye that one is come with c poke eye born hand born hand he born his hand he burned his hand so one, so that four, it comes with D. And the last one, six, it comes with E. Break nose. Break nose. That one is with E. Okay. This is the first exercises for today. Let we transfer to another point on that lesson. Okay. The next page told us that we have listened to the child physiologist talk about household dangerous for children. So they're talking about household dangerous for children. Mark the items and uh, he mentioned. When you're hearing the words he mentioned it, we should mark about it. Let we begin our discussion today. Most of the accidents involving young children happen in the home. Children are naturally curious. They explore and want to find out about things for themselves. If you leave a child out of your sight for a minute, the child will usually get into something. 
you should try to keep anything dangerous out of the reach of young children. It's very common for children to swallow their parents' pills because the children think the pills are candy. Any sparkling liquid might be confused with soda. The kitchen is a common place for children to have accidents. The stove seems to attract children most of the time. They want to check out what parents are cooking, so they knock over pots and pans and often burn themselves seriously. Electric sockets are another children's favorite. Make sure the sockets in your house are fingerproof. If you live in an apartment building and your building doesn't have window bars, keep all the windows locked in case children want to climb on the window sills and look out. It's even worse if you have a balcony. Some people actually build safety nets to prevent children from falling off balconies. But I think parents' approach to dangerous situations is the most important thing, including things shown on TV. Don't let your child believe that he or she can fly or climb up the side of a 40-story building. Wearing a superhero costume doesn't make anyone a superhero who can fly. If you teach your children how to deal with danger, you will help to keep them out of harm's way. So, let me check the answer together. Which one we could ma uh, match it? What we hearing with the man who talked before? Let me check that. We have, he mentioned pills. After that, he mentioned refrigerator. And he mentioned also doors. And he mentioned windows. And the last one, he mentioned uh, superheroes. Okay. Let me go to the next page. Or sorry, the next point after that. So we have uh, consonant here and listen and note the common consonant plus structure and the end of the word then practice. We have f, f, alt, net, s, set, and ned. Okay, listen for the first one. Myself. 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 Shelf. Shelf. It's under of. Off. Off. It's under off off. Number two. We have uh, alt. Alt. We have alt. The words under of it is uh, result. The first one is result. Alt. Result. Two. Belt. 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 Under of alt. Ent. 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 The word under of it is accident. 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 Restaurant. 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 Under of end. Restaurant. The third one is st. The word of it rest. 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 First. 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 Under of st. End. 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 The word under of it is and. And. The second one. Sand. Sand. Good job. Read the most common causes of automobile crashed again. Find words that end with alt, alt, and, and st, and, and. Practice. Uh, reading the sentence that contained this words aloud. Let we check that uh, on the passages and we re we hearing the discussion together. Ready? Okay. So how did you hurt yourself? I fell off my bike. Really? So did I. My motorcycle skidded on a patch of oil on the road and I crashed into a car. The last thing I remember was flying through the air and hitting the windshield. I woke up in the hospital. Were you wearing a helmet? Yes, luckily I was. That's what probably saved my life. How about you? I was cycling in the park, so I didn't think I'd need a helmet. I don't like wearing helmets. They're uncomfortable and unattractive. This squirrel came out of nowhere. 
I swerved, lost my balance, and hit a tree. I got off lightly, only a few bruises and a bump on my head. It was your lucky day. Yeah, that's too bad you broke both legs. You're going to be stuck in that wheelchair for a while, I guess. Look at it this way. If I broke only one leg, there might not be enough room for all my friends to write their names on the cast. Hey, would you like to sign your name? Okay. We're using here the meaning for the words. We have it, Abu Fit. We have real talk. So, the real talk here, uh, we have four uh, statements. They mention it inside the passages. And the side the passages is lucky day. Lucky day is equal to a day of a good fortune. Stuck in, caught and unable to move it. If you're stuck with something, you should use that word. Stuck in, it can't, you can't move, you can't go anywhere. I guess, I guess it means I think. Not real things 100%, but I guess. So expression to show that you are not totally sure about a statement. Look at it this way. There is a different way to think about something. Look at it this way. So if you have uh, different ways to think, you can use in that word, look at this way. Okay, let we go or transfer to the next page. We have a conversation and we have a uh, question under of that conversation and we should begin to answer it. We have five questions. Number tw one, how did Samir hurt himself? Two, why was he lucky? Three, how did Jason hurt himself? Four, why is uh, he sorry for Samir? And five, what does Samir say about cuts on, the, on his leg? Let we check the answer together. Number one. Samir's motorcycle skidded on a patch of oil and it crashed into a car. So it crashed into a car. Number two, why was he lucky? So why do you think he is lucky? Because uh, he was wearing a helmet. He was wearing a helmet and it probably saved his life. So the helmet probably saved his life. Number three, how did Jason hurt himself? How he is, uh, how did he hurt himself? Jason was cycling in the park. A squirrel ran in front of him. So he swerved to avoid it and hit a tree. So the, uh, he hurt himself by hit a tree. Why is he sorry for Samir? What, what do you think the reason for that? Jason is sorry for Samir because he's going to be stuck in a wheelchair for a while. Because he is going to stuck in a wheelchair for a while. The last one is, what does Samir say about the casts on his legs? He says that with two casts, two casts, he has enough room for all his friends to write their names on the cast. Cast that something, but if you are broken your arm or legs, they're covering by casts. Okay, so let we go back to check what we have else. Uh, make a quick revision about the language and con uh, uh, context. We have some words and uh, synonyms and uh, we match the word with the suitable sentence. After ha that, we have listening and we hearing together what the man mentioned for household for dangerous, uh, that make dangerous for children. And we have pronunciation. We have five accent uh, and five co consonant, sorry. Uh, we trying it together. After that, we have a conversation between Samir and Jason. And we talk or already about real talk. The last one, we have a conversation and five questions under of it, and we answering together. Okay, if you transfer to other, another page, sorry for that. 
on page 74 we have reading passage and they have some question before it so read the conversation for each event write one sentence and describe the happening of unhappening ending of the people had we have unusual accident and death let we listen together unusual accidents and deaths many people are interested in stories of unusual accidents some of these stories have happy endings but some unfortunately have unhappy ones unhappy endings according to the legend the ancient Greek playwright Aeschylus was killed when an eagle dropped a tortoise on his head the bird was trying to break the tortoise's shell on a rock in order to eat it. Aeschylus was bald, and the eagle thought the unfortunate man's head was a good rock on which it could break the shell. An eight-foot-tall ostrich was seen weaving through heavy traffic on a Saudi Arabian highway near Abha. One of the drivers filmed the scene and uploaded it on the Internet. No one tried to stop and catch the 180-kilo bird that was taller than humans and ran at almost 70 kilometers per hour. It had probably escaped from a farm and ran into heavy traffic instead of the wild. So, if we can discuss the unusual accident and death, we have title uh, above that message, unhappy, it means ending by something bad, not happy. We have two stories uh, about a Greek playwit with the bird and one happened in Saudi Arabia, exactly in Abha city. Let me complete what we have down. Some people worry about being hit from things falling from outer space. There is only one person in all recorded history who has been killed by a meteorite, Manfredo Satala. The tragedy happened in 1680. Ahmed Ali lost his eight-year-old son in a drowning accident at a friend's house. His son had been invited to join other children at a friend's house to play and swim in the pool. According to the invitation, a lifeguard was going to be present. The young boy was really excited and begged his father to let him go. So Ahmed Ali picked him up from school and drove him to his friend's house before 1 p.m. That was the last time he saw him alive. So this is the story of Ahmed Ali and his eight years old son and how he losing his son. Happy endings. A German soldier was riding in the backseat of a World War I plane when the engine stalled as the result of an unusual gust of wind. He fell out of his seat while the plane was high above the ground. As he was falling, the plane's engine started again and he landed back in his own seat. The pilot was then able to land the plane safely. Bob Hale jumped out of an airplane in November 1972, but his main parachute failed to open. His backup parachute also failed. Bob dropped about 3,000 feet, 900 meters, at 80 miles, 128 kilometers per hour, and hit the ground face first. After a moment, he got up and walked away with only minor injuries. It was an amazing escape. In September 2007, Phil LaMatina escaped death while he was driving at over 300 miles, 500 kilometers per hour in a drag race in Brisbane, Australia. Phil was racing down the track when his car became airborne, split in two, and burst into a fireball. He was knocked out, but he survived. Although he was in the midst of the ball of fire, Phil was burned only on the tip of his finger. When his brothers later showed him the video of the accident, Phil couldn't believe he was watching himself and that he had such a lucky escape. So, this is our lesson today. It's talking about conversation, the last of our lesson today. Uh, we will discuss the next, uh, on the le next lecture, inshallah, the uh, question and what belongs of it. Thank you for sharing and thank you for coming for our class.